I want to mention, of course, uh, Ray is behind the production desk on a lot of this, yeah. which is very, very interesting. What's that working relationship like for him? I mean, I mean, obviously such a great talent and he's definitely moved a lot more in these last few years into a lot of engineering stuff, and a lot of production yeah. stuff. Um, yeah, how was that experience working alongside him? I mean, I mean, Ray's one of those, he's just a brilliant music mind, you know what I mean? He's, uh, he hears people, he hears things differently than maybe other people do, you know, he's like, a, he's a scientist with it. Um, what, what I was kind of describing it as when somebody asked a similar question, I was like, I think everyone in My Chemical Romance at one point or another wore the producer hat in the studio. And some, you know, we'd all tag in and out, but Ray, Gerard, Frank, anyone, they jumped in that producer realm for however long it was at any given time. And it's like, I saw that out of Ray when we were making My Chem and, you know, when we were demoing in the bus you know, like on the road, he would have his rig and we'd all be like, so it kind of came, it always came natural to him. You know, he was always, he was always fascinated with, with the production side of things. And he would always study what the engineers were doing when we would make albums. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was very seamless. I had seen it before. I'd seen that look in his eyes before. Um, but we also, we, we share like this other language from, working with each other for so long, you know, we kind of like, I know what he likes, he knows what I like. And sometimes I can just give him a look and he knows what I'm talking about. You know, or we'll, we'll point to something, we'll point to something invisible in the air and he'll just be like, oh, click. You know what I mean? It's just, we share, we share this other language, you know? So I felt like I was just astounded by what he did, you know, he transformed these songs. It's got to be lovely when you're trying something a bit more ambitious as well to have someone like that that you've known for so long. I mean, it's it's an instant confidence, right? I was I was itching to work with him when uh, I was itching to work with him when when we were talking about this album. Yeah, and I remember Dave just asking questions. He wasn't against the idea, but he was just like, "What's what's Ray done? You know, like what what does this stuff sound like?" I'm like, "Have you heard Have you heard My Chemical Romance?" You know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying he produced it. I'm saying like our DNA is all over that stuff. You know what I mean? It's like, um, that's our resume. You know what I mean? So I was always like, you don't have to worry about what he's done. You know what I mean? Like, trust me, the dude can do it. You know what I mean? And it was like, um, and Dave was floored, you know, Dave was like, you were right. You know, not that he was against it again, but he was just like, you were right. He was like, yeah. dude's a genius. He's like, I only want to work with him. You know what I mean? And it's like, right. He knows what he's doing, man. Yeah. Can't ask for anything more there. Can't ask for anything yeah. more.